When I was elected as valedictorian, of course I was honoured to be asked to speak on behalf of my fellow peers. Though as usual, I left off writing my script till, well, yesterday. After years of procrastination, like waiting till 11.58pm to pass up assignments, <laughs> old habits die hard. I realised at 12 in the morning, as I sat there scratching my head thinking, what on earth was I going to say? How can just one person express the feelings and memories of an entire class? Friends and teachers, don't you think it's just a little bit unfair that I'm the one doing all the talking today when it's our last day together? I was never a good sportsman. My natural instinct was to run screaming whenever a ball was thrown at me. So I always remember the time when I hid in the toilet during swim for all and ended up being dragged out by Juan Halisa. Of course, I ended up swimming that day. We all know how persistent she is. I think I'm actually gonna miss the prefect saying single file please every time we walk up the stairs. Just kidding. It's how we know whose seats are going to be empty during the sports season, during production and even during those boring topical tests. Like how we don't need to wait for the teacher to announce the results. Are those topical tests to know who got the highest? Ruhani, I'm looking at you. Like the time I won long jump, and I went home with a big smile on my face, gold medal, and ripped pants. The day we got our results, need I say more? After this, we may all just become Facebook friends who only talk to each other on birthdays and say things like, we should all meet up soon, but well, we never do. But for today, let us just cherish this moment where we're one. I hope we never forget the pranks we've played, the scoldings we've endured, and the memories we've made together. May the words, long live Jake Zainab, be forever scribbled somewhere secretly in the textbook where she'll never find out. May Mr. Alvin never replace his broken long ruler for all the memory it holds. May the permanent ink stain on Mr. Jiva's pants never be washed off. When I look at the audience, when I look at us, I don't see a footballer, a scientist, an actress, or a doctor. I look at us now, I see the class of 2014. As we hear the school bell ring one last time, walk through the corridors we know so well and out past the school gates, we think back fondly of the memories we've shared together. And tomorrow, we'll start back at day one.